Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impression slash review slash nail art tutorial of the Uber Chick stamping plates. I have been uber excited to receive these and I purchased set one and set two and I'm just gonna go through um, each of the plates with you. Here we have plate one of set one and there's just these beautiful Oh my god, you got chevron print lines, um, you kind of got a water spotted look. This sort of looks like a water marble look. This one also, you got some psychedelic looking ones over here. I like this one here with the hearts like on the lines. I think it's so cute and dainty. And on each and every one of these plates I like because down the middle of the row um, there's like single designs. And so that is plate one of set one. This is plate two of set one, and this is a lot of floral, has a really beautiful paisley print. Um, this is very summer, spring type of plate. I love this plate so much. I'm not too much into flowers, but this plate is beautiful, and I will, I think this is a plate that I'm going to be using today for the tutorial. So that was plate two. This is plate three of set one. I have not taken off the blue film, as you can tell. And <clears throat> again, another gorgeous plate, some polka dots, um, just so many beautiful images, some stars, you have some more flowers, sort of like a mermaid kind of a print, um, like flowers and vines and polka dots and just really cute images. Like I said, these plates just completely blow my mind. They are so cute. And another thing, um, I really appreciate these plates because the images on them itself are quite large and my other plates I was using cheeky beauty image stamping plates and I love those nothing wrong with the quality it's just I find the actual images itself are a little bit too small for my nails um, and I would find I would have to stamp and then stamp the last quarter of my nail which wouldn't make the design look entirely seamless so right now my nails to me this is short um, and when my nails are longer, I can't use the cheeky beauty plates. So for as long as my nails get, these images will definitely work perfectly. They're nice and wide and nice and long. So this is the final plate of set one. Now we're going into set two. Here we have another gorgeous plate. Um, I really like this design here. I love this swirly design. You got a really pretty um, like chevron. Got some coffee. Um, a heart, some stars, just some really beautiful patterns and you got some words here it says party animal oh yeah <laughs> here is plate two of set two and I really 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 like this design right here sorry about the flash I was gonna put on my other light but with my other light it would have just you wouldn't have been able to see the images so clearly um, you have some like the starburst sort of look. It's so pretty. Um, this is sort of like a skyline with stars. I really, really like this. You got diamonds, little trees, a word that says warrior, um, cabin fever. Over here you have a word, another word print that says home is where I am with you, which is so, so sweet. And the final plate of set three is this one. Um, really cute has some seahorses some beach sort of theme things anchors birds boats you got a shark you got some stamps of like the like the world the globe um, another cute one run away with me over here it says see the world some mermaid looking things I like this cloud image here and then the girl blowing looks like she's blowing with a butterfly score looks like a Sun but overall, I mean, I thought I actually thought the plates itself were going to be much larger, but I, you know what, this is fine. I'm happy. There's so many images. Both of these sets retail at $25 each. It was kind of hard for me to spend that much money. Um, but you know what? It was so worth it. I've been seeing so many reviews from different people here on YouTube and Instagram. So I'm like, you know what? I have to get these this Saturday. Um, Uber Chick is actually going to be releasing their third set, which, duh, I have to purchase it. But um, let's get right into the tutorial. I have prepped my nails yesterday with an ombre look. I have been itching to do a look like this for so long, 
and I have been off the bandwagon with my nails lately, haven't been doing much of anything, so I'm like, you know what, I need to step it up and do something fun, springish, summerish, and I did this only using three colors, a lot of blending, some sponges, and I popped on China Glaze uh, Fairy Dust, and uh, let's get into the stamping. Today's stamping tools, I'm going to be using the Creative Shop Stamper and the Creative Shop Scraper. I absolutely love the scraper. At first, I was kind of like on the fence about it, but um, I learned how to use it and I really, really like it more than any other scraper I've used. As you can see, I purchased this from Eat Sleep Polish. She is a Canadian indie seller, so this is where I purchased it from her. And I'm going to go ahead and prep my nails. Before any messy manicure like nail art stamping or ombre nails, or water marbling for that fact. Um, I like to prep my nails with liquid latex. Uh, this is a product I formulated. I sell it in a variety of different colors. I actually just launched my online website yesterday and I'm so excited because now people can just easily go to the website and purchase it themselves and I absolutely love this stuff. It really helps um, with easy cleanup of messy manicures. So this is a latex based product and um, all I'm just gonna do is apply it around on the skin around my cuticles so any stamping polish that would transfer to my skin would transfer to the latex and at the end I just have to peel it all off in one piece and um, it just helps for a much more easier cleanup. I will link my shop down below. I currently only sell within Canada and to the US. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep this and I will be right back. It's really hard for me <laughs> to figure out what design I wanted to do because all these plates are so overwhelmingly beautiful, but I wanted to do something florally in spring and um, I'm gonna go in with this image here that says happy and put that on my accent nail. So I'm gonna be using my black Conad stamping polish. Oh, let's open this. I got a brand spanking new one. Oh yeah, okay. Just applying some polish here. You don't need to put too much because you're scraping it and Conad polish is very pigmented. Okay, so we're just gonna scrape and wipe off the excess. I'm gonna roll. That picked up so nicely. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp that on. That was a really awkward way that I did that kind of hurt my finger but and it says happy and you can see all of the excess stamping polish transferred to the latex and you guys will see how easy this latex is to come off after <laughs> already stamped a nail with an image that doesn't really float my boat I just take a cotton pad you can take a q-tip um, and just gently like wipe it off if you're really gentle about it you won't ruin any of the polish. Like all my polish as the base is already dry and I have glitter, so the glitter kind of helps to give it that extra layer that's hard to remove. So we're gonna go with this chevron print because it is oh so pretty. So let's get to stamping that one because who doesn't love a nice chevron print? You see how indecisive I am about the things that I stamp? You guys must think I'm crazy. Just crazy. I really love the Paisley print. It's stamped beautifully, but I think it would have looked nice. Um, it would have popped more on just a plain white base. So we'll leave that for another day. Let's scrape, roll. Uh, didn't work. I'm getting frustrated because this worked yesterday. Guys, I swear this is going to work. Just, just believe in me. Believe in the power of nail polish. You know, just wasting all this freaking expensive Conad polish because, you know, I apparently have all the money in the world over here. Alright, scrape. I put on a thicker amount. Let's roll. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's, you know what? Ugh. Okay. Got it. With these, with this kind of design, you have to line up the nail straight. I don't think I did it straight. Oh, I did though. Oh wow, look at that, guys. Ah, eh, straight as I can get it. 
it's fine. It's fine. It looks like so nice. Here it is up close. Oh yeah, Chevron print made so easy with the vinyls. I love vinyls, but sometimes I have a hard time with them because they lift and stuff, and I just don't like that. I just don't. So let's go uh, fill up the rest of my nails with a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Da -na -da -na, da -na -da -na. Oh, that is just so perfect. Okay, let's line up the nail and stamp. Well, these kind of designs is tricky because you gotta really line up the nail. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is just so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's looking really good. Let's do these last two nails. Tip, um, instead of scraping your polish off every time you use it, it's always good to kind of keep it on the scraper because you can kind of still use that polish when you're scraping so I don't have to put on so much this time. You know what I mean? Do you understand? Scrape. Oh no, I forgot to take off the... Uh oh. Haha, <laughs> I made it in time. Let's do my... No, let's do my pinky. Let's do my pinky. Okay, let's align and stamp. Bam! Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Woo! Did you guys know with like stamping images and stampers, you know like you can stamp more things than just your nails, right? You can like personalize phone cases or little binders or whatever really. Anything that can take a stamp, I can handle this. It's very good. I haven't tried stamping anything other than my nails. Been wanting to do a phone case. Okay, now that stamps nice. Okay, we're gonna do this. We are gonna do this one. Da, 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 da. Okay, a line. Ready, set, go. Woo! <laughs> I am way too excited right now. I need to calm down. Fun part of removing all this excess. All this excess polish and it really does a fine job there if I don't say so myself do you see this do you see this very minimal cleanup over here ladies once you pick it at the edge yeah just once you get it you just pull look at that pull oh yeah there might be like a little bit left but honestly it's not much when you have this to save 